Creepy clowns, decapitated dolls, scary stuffed animals. That's just some of what you'll find in James Day's haunted woods in Ganawage. They want to feel that fear, that they want to feel that, and I want to bring that to you, you know. The team here knows a thing or two about scaring people. Day and his cousin started the Haunted Woods back in 2005. After making some adjustments because of the pandemic, this year the Haunted Woods are back in full force and pulling out all the horror stops. Once you get in there, we have multiple rooms that you could go through, like a labyrinth. You walk through like that, we give you a long hallway of like spider webs, crazy stuff. You drop down to another maze, you come out to Pennywise, Michael Myers, you come into Jason's cabin in the woods. The Haunted Woods will be up and running from October 28th to the 31st. Everyone is welcome. Shows during the day are kid friendly. During the night though, the scares get cranked up a notch. My role in there is to make sure that you run really fast past my section, screaming, crying, whatever may happen. If, uh, if you have heart problems, try to skip Jason. It's a community event and, and we'd love to make people smile, even if it's through fear. <laughs> Fear may be important, but so is helping people in need. Haunted Woods goers are invited to bring donations when they come by that'll go to a local food bank. The amount of people that come in to, you know, experience that and the amount of uh, goods that are given and the monetary donations, it's tremendous. Tonight, Day is organizing his first haunted parade, a new way for him to share in the Halloween spirit before the big day arrives. Valeria Corey Minocchio, CBC News, Ganawage.